tractor. Kalispell, Montana, to a cure de Aline. Something like that. Idaho. So what, about a four hour. Not bad, not bad. But no. It's a long way to get the load. I'm coming out. Okay, it's the National Park traffic is what I'm going to have to, I guess, deal with. And will I not be able to get the load in time because of this ignorance here that's before me. No! Oh, I thought you would stop, you know. It's just... I don't mean to push you, push you. I probably shouldn't have done this now. If this guy won't move, it's going to make it difficult for me, and I don't want that. Look, look how much time I saved by doing this. See what he did? See how beneficial that was? Get moving. Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, it's the sports car version. Oops, I gotta turn. Going to get the load. I kind of thought that might be the way it was because it was really far out there, far out, man. I hate it when those Mustang GTs get in my way. They're so slow. It is nice, though. As far as having a road like this, I'm driving it in the, uh, the best way I could be as far as ease of driving. I mean, it's just the cab, you know. It's nearly a sports car this way. It's definitely way easier than with a trailer on. Acceleration's a lot better, handling's a lot better. It does, it makes it feel almost like a sports car compared to when you're hauling a big trailer. As you can see, now, this shouldn't be done by the general populace, it's not safe. But in my skilled hands, it's completely, it's extra safe. good for the community. Mm, 
jumps a long way to get this thing, man. Oh! Oh, goodness me. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man, get away from me. I got to go now. I mean, everybody's fine. Look, see? Oh, you? All right, you know, sorry about that. But I gotta go. I've gotta go get this load. Oh, man. That was death. Oh, it would be hauling me off. It was intense, man. Bad. Now, if that person hadn't have screwed up and pulled right in front of me, that wouldn't have happened, see. So, you can be the greatest driver ever, you know, like me. And someone else like that can just screw it all up. Keep your wits about you pretty much all the time. 95% of the time. You can get away with 93, 92 even, but... Wow, this is taking a long time to get to this load. I wonder if it'll still be available when I get there. Because I've had that happen. Because it took me so long to get there that the, you know, somebody else took it. This was a long trek. Will I get it? Will I get it? I hope I get it. Don't get in my way. I just, I just want to pull up here and get the load. Let's do it. A tractor. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. I'm taking it. It's a four-hour job. Take that tractor. Hey, guy. What's he doing up there? Just sitting around. He's on his phone. Playing an MMO. Come on, come on, come on. Didn't get enough turnage there as much as I thought, but doesn't matter, it's fine. It is, it is. Alright, I've got it hooked up. I've got oh my truck is damaged from that hitting that car. Oh my Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Mm. That would have been uh, you know, it's horrible that they made that mistake. So I've got truck damage, but I got the load, and it's a four-hour load, plenty of sleep, 10.30. <coughs> I could probably get another load <coughs> in the day. Oh, I'm over, overdoing the shiftery here. You know, if it was a close-ish load, I could get it into the night. It doesn't get dark until 9. I like to do daytimes. Sometime, you know, I don't mind a night every now and then, but I like to see the stuff that they've got out here. I'm gonna destroy my vehicle, I know it. I can't look around too much, though. 
I just have to slow down if I want to. I can go to this view. That gives me a little bit. This is new to me. No. Welcome to Polson, Flathead Lake. It's nice. The boat stuff is cool. If you're into the boat stuff, I'm not. But it's cool to see. Yeah, I mean, I'd go out in one, you know, just for the hell of it. But I think owning one's kind of a pain. But you got to really be into it, and then it's not a pain. It's nice. I like it. It's pretty. But I've got to ease on down, ease on down the road. Maybe I'll come back and do a little boating, you know. They must have some sort of thing you can pay and go out and ride around a little bit. Alright, I'm going to slow down a little bit just for this because it's It's kind of nice to see what's in here. Look, see the old style buildings on the left and then the Art Deco looking thing on the right. And your basic, what is that? Auto service, okay. And over here, bank, something else. Apartments, new stuff being built back there. It's nice. They look nice. It's nice. Some campers. Oh, it's, it's nice. I like it. It's a pretty place.
and the outside views are too loud. Kansas or something. I saw the word Kansas. I forgot where this load is going to and from. Since I thought it was like Idaho and Washington. I don't think it's. They just must have been advertising that. Shift. What niceness is out there? It's niceness. Look at that. It's so nice. <gasps> oh, you stooge, you stooge. I can't do this. I'm going all over the place like a moron. I just... This is too hard to drive and mouse and I've only got this tiny little place to mouse because I got this swing away keyboard thing and all because I have the uh, wheel and all that shit the shifter and everything in front of my you know desk here where the keyboard and stuff well, I normally use it there but I have to I put it on a little swing arm thing off to the side so I can still use it That's the problem with putting the wheel right there in front of you. It's just an age-old problem, you know? Who am I to complain? I remember back before we had wheels, steering wheels. We had joysticks right off the bat, and steering wheels were there pretty quick, too. In my gaming world, I mean, they were basically... When I finally, when I got a PC... 95, 1995... Wheels were available, and I got some... I really liked it back then, it was Microsoft... Something... Sidewinder. They had a joystick, and maybe the wheel was called that, too. I don't know. But in the day, I mean, the thing was really nice. It felt nice. And for games of that period, it was really cool. I had a lot of fun with that thing. And then it crapped out. I don't know. I mean, this was all pre-USB stuff, you know. They were nice. They were quality. They felt quality-like. I don't know. What am I doing? Am I making big mistakes? Probably. I'm here yapping around. Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Just follow the path. You know what? It's not rocket science. And yet. And yet. If it was rocket science, it is rocket science. Somebody they kidnapped me and grabbed me and threw me in the room and said I had to do rocket science. But nobody could say it's not rocket science because that's what they were asking me to do. Was clueless.
I turn, 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 I gotta get in. And then I gotta shift. We got some tall mountains here. Well, you know, not super tall, but you know, pretty tall. This truck isn't gonna be going up there. It's very steep. Better be careful with this speed. Look at this, it's very sharp. At these kinds of speeds, and this thing is semi-heavy. I think it's balanced pretty nice on the trailer, but you know, it's not. I mean, there is still centrifugal force here with this thing. Alright, pedal onto the metal. I better go back to 17th. Almost ready to shift to 18th, though. Look at that. 2000. I'm doing it back to 18th. Look at his turn. Is this gonna be the death of me? Is it? Is it? No. No. What do we got? 82. It feels too fast. Nearly too fast. Look at this turn coming up. It's like. It's a big Sharpie. And that guy went wide now. He's not supposed to be in that lane. Oh, look at this. This is all screwed up. It's ruined everything. Oh, I hate you. You too. Get out of the way. I can't honk my cute horn at anyone. I need a horn upgrade. That horn is ridiculous with this. It's meow. Meow. Idaho. You know? I thought I know. No, you know. Okay. I know. Look at this. It's not good. Not good. Working out badly. Poorly, poorly. Okay, no one will, uh, you know, move along like they should. Why don't you move to the side? can see I'm impatient and somewhat erratic, probably unsafe, unhinged. You know, now come on, move. I don't want to have to bump you off the road or anything. But, and then I have to go bump the next one and the next one and the next one. I know, it's just, it's fruitless. Quit putting your brakes on now. That's irritating me. I know. There's not a lot you can do. But you know what you can do? Yeah, get over in the other lane. Forty-four minutes left. I, I may make it. I mean, you know, without damage or anything. It depends. Now, you know, these people act that are, oh, thank you, finally. But now look, you know, here's the deal with that. That person gets out of the way. And then you advance to the next person that's in your way. It just, I don't know, sometimes you just kind of say, okay. I'm in traffic and I'm just going to go with the flow. 
no, I'm going to make all kinds of weird, fast maneuvers and get up to that next car right up there. And then I'll be right up there, where I used to be right back there. But now I'm all the way up here. But there was a time when I was like that, the impatient zipping around, just to get up to the stop line, to the stop sign, the fastest, and then have to sit there while the grandma who was rolling her eyes at me, you know, back down the road, pulls up right beside me, looks over at me like, I'm right here in the lake, just the same as you, Sonny. You know, and then I'm like, I'm a little embarrassed, because what can I say? Because she's right. I'm like, oh, man. Well, I beat you to the light, Grandma. You know, I hate it when you get those grandma situations. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't hit the car. I'm so glad that that car was responsive. It was a good, responsible driver. And it didn't let my actions, which some could have considered dangerous and irresponsible and inconsiderate and everything else, but that driver avoided that, which I'm grateful for. But it's their responsibility, too. So I'm not exactly overly grateful. I mean, I'm just... You know, normally grateful. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, that was gross. Excellent. 